Ever wondered what sets the wealthy apart from the truly affluent? Picture a world where fortunes are inherited and generations bask in everlasting opulence. Welcome to the secret realm of the Northeast's old money communities. But what exactly is old money? Brace yourself for an eye-opening revelation as we unravel the power, prestige, and legacy distinguishing the truly affluent from the rest. It's a term that goes beyond mere wealth, transcending the bounds of millions and billions. Welcome to luxurious times. Let's get right into it. 10. North Shore, Long Island Also known as Gold Coast, the North Shore of Long Island is where luxury and legends abound and where the country's revolutionary history was made with its quaint harborside villages, offering local flavors and New England-style charm. Long Island's North Shore is home to several fabulous grand estates and rocky coastlines, and was considered the inspiration behind the Great Gatsby and the home of President Theodore Roosevelt. The North Shore is quite popular for its upscale shopping areas like Americana Manhasset, rocky beaches on the Long Island Sound, museums, nature parks, and innovation sites such as Brookhaven National Lab and Cold Spring Harbor Lab. Also known as the George Washington Spy Trail, this area is rich with history and is a place where visitors and residents alike will find trendy villages, historical sites, and a varied assortment of parks and beaches. 9. Princeton, New Jersey Princeton is a town with a borough form of administration in Mercer County, and it used to be divided into the borough of Princeton and Princeton Township, before both areas were combined to form the Princeton neighborhood. Princeton was created before the American Revolutionary War and is the home of Princeton University and many other educational institutions like Princeton Plasma Physics Laboratory, Westminster Choir College, Opinion Research Corporation, Princeton Theological Seminary, and many more. The charm of Princeton is unparalleled in every area, starting with Princeton's restaurant scene whose quality and diversity are continually on the rise. An amazing shopping experience with a wide variety of retail stores, ranging from thrift shops and luxury fashion boutiques to bookstores and a renowned record exchange, and much more. Areas like the McCarter Theater Center, winner of a Tony Award for the best regional theater in the country, and the Morven Museum and Garden, which goes back over 200 years and houses a unique collection of fine and decorative arts, make this town so much more special. 8. Philadelphia Main Line, Philadelphia The Philadelphia Main Line is a delineated historical and social area of the Philadelphia suburbs, with a collection of historic communities that runs along the boundary of what was once the prestigious Pennsylvania Railroad Main Line from downtown Philadelphia. The Philadelphia Main Line is synonymous with Philadelphia's western suburbs, which are situated along the old railroad line that runs parallel with Route 30 or Lancaster Avenue. The Philadelphia Main Line covers 16 communities. However, seven are regarded as core communities with the oldest depots in Eastern Main Line, while the remaining stations and towns are located on the Western Main Line. The area is known for its historic and iconic houses and mansions, wealthy old money settlements, and communities that feel like small villages regardless of their proximity to Philadelphia. 7. Newport, Rhode Island This is another historic community filled with several vibrant coastal communities, all sharing some major prime New England coastline and packing a lot of historical architecture going back about 300 years. This is a place raised by the ocean and built by eccentric and outspoken rebels over 300 years ago and it has some classic colonial architecture and breathtaking New England landscapes. Now, the town has everything the residents and visitors will ever need, from many restaurants, parks, beaches, malls, and many others. Newport may have been around for many years, but it is constantly evolving to fit the needs of its residents and guests. 6. Hudson Valley, New York Roughly 35 miles south of the state capital of Albany, the Hudson, New York, is considered an upstate location for people of great wealth. The area borders the banks of the Hudson River, and the views of the river, the rolling hills, and a verdant landscape in the warmer months offer a tranquil scene for many residents. The Hudson area is also very popular with millionaires and non-millionaires alike, thanks to its wide variety of restaurants, art galleries, and nightlife. However, the town's signature sites are antiques and architecture. 
The Hudson area boasts numerous antique dealers, which were vital to making the town more attractive for new residents, tourists, and wealthier folks in search of second homes. At the same time, the Hudson area is jam-packed with architectural gems, earning it a listing with the National Register of Historic Places. Unfortunately for millionaires and other less wealthy residents, New York state taxes take a bite, but that won't matter to old money anyway. 5. Georgetown, Washington, D.C. Washington, D.C. is home to the country's politics, and one could say it is the most likely place where the historic wealthy members of society would reside. Georgetown is a notable neighborhood and commercial district of the political center of the country in northwest D.C., located along the Potomac River. The Port of Georgetown was founded in 1751 in the province of Maryland, and it predated the establishment of the federal district and the city of Washington by about 40 years. Georgetown is home to a number of the city's best shops, fanciest restaurants, and most expensive hotels, and it's a beloved location for tourists and locals alike. It is the perfect intersection of historic appeal and upscale modernity, where M Street meets Wisconsin Avenue in the heart of this scenic neighborhood. M Street is well known for its comprehensive retail scene that includes many mainstream crowd pleasers like Anthropology and H&M, and luxurious high-end designers like Billy Reed and Rag and Bone. This neighborhood also has a strong selection of upscale home design stores, small businesses, and many of the city's best fine art galleries. 4. Hillsboro, California This neighborhood is located just 17 miles south of San Francisco in California's San Mateo County in the San Francisco Peninsula. Bounded by San Mateo to the east, Interstate 280 to the west, Highlands Baywood Park to the south, and Burlingame to the north. Living in this neighborhood offers residents and visitors a rural feel, and most residents own their homes. There are also a lot of coffee shops, restaurants, and parks, with the public schools being rated pretty high. Many retirees live in Hillsboro, and residents tend to lean liberal. Hillsboro is home to many important mansions in American architectural history, such as the Western White House, built by George Randolph Hearst, son of William Randolph Hearst, and designed by Julia Morgan of Hearst Castle fame. Carolyn's, built by Harriet Pullman Carolyn, the Pullman Railway heiress, and the Sidney Bassett residence, designed by Frank Lloyd Wright and lived in by Joseph Eichler for a time. 3. Upper East Side, New York City The Upper East Side is a neighborhood in the Manhattan borough of New York City, bordered by the East River to the east, 59th Street to the south, Central Park and Fifth Avenue to the west, and 96th Street to the north. This super expensive area incorporates many smaller neighborhoods, such as Carnegie Hill, Lenox Hill, and Yorkville. It was previously known as the Silk Stocking District and has long been considered the most affluent neighborhood in New York City. The Upper East Side is often described as the leafy home to the city's elite and is a place for pastry, pearls, and pocket squares. It is filled with refined culture and exotic shopping some of the many things that make it special. Case in point is the Museum Mile, whose institutions include big-timers like the Metropolitan Museum of Art and the Solomon R. Guggenheim Museum, along with gems like Neue Gallery and the Frick Collection. The shopping options also offer a chance to get a new wardrobe from expensive boutiques and high-end department stores. 2. Beacon Hill slash Back Bay, Boston Back Bay and Beacon Hill are known as Boston's historical heavyweights and are some of the city's most beautiful neighborhoods. These distinctly different neighborhoods often make up the core of nearly any visitor's itinerary, thanks to their narrow, gas-lit streets and variety of architecturally significant buildings. Back Bay is a beautiful neighborhood in the city with landmark squares, charming vintage townhouses, and postcard-perfect streets, which make the area that much more attractive. The Back Bay is also home to many famous attractions, such as the Boston Public Library and Copley Square. Shopping in this neighborhood is unparalleled, as residents and visitors get to pick from the stylish boutiques of Newberry Street to the huge Prudential Center Mall. The dining scene is also known as one of the best in the city, and downtown Boston is right next door. This historic neighborhood is located adjacent to Boston Common and is topped by the shining golden dome of the State House. It's probably one of the loveliest areas in the city, thanks to its narrow brick streets, antique gas lamps, 
and elegant townhouses with federal style and Victorian architecture. Beacon Hill beckons to anyone who appreciates its historic charm, along with its relaxed atmosphere and royal vibe. Residents and visitors can also pop into vintage boutiques, antique shops, and Tony restaurants whenever they want. I mean, nothing screams old money better than that. 1. Old Greenwich, Connecticut Old money likes to settle down in one location, and they hardly ever move from there. This explains why their mansions keep appreciating over the years, and they watch the area develop around them. The same can be said for Old Greenwich in Connecticut. This Fairfield County in Connecticut lives up to its name, as it was founded in 1641, and the Old Greenwich Station, a commuter rail station delivering residents to nearby New York City, was constructed almost two centuries after, earning this area a spot on the National Register of Historic Places. The town sits on Long Island Sound and was formerly known as Sound Beach in the 19th century. However, today, its largest beach, Todd's Point, is public property. We hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Till next time.